What is a superconductor? The present age is the age of electricity. We use electricity to light the lights of our houses, streets, etc. Devices like television or a computer, etc. operate with the help of electric current. Thus, electricity plays a very important role in our daily life. When we analyze the devices which operate on electricity, we find that some amount of electricity is always lost in the form of heat. Let us discuss how. When we analyze the devices, we find that they are composed of vibrating positive ions and free electrons. These vibrating positive ions offer resistance to the flow of free electrons in the form of collision. This causes the loss of energy in the form of heat. Note that about 20% of electricity generated worldwide is wasted due to the resistance of wire and device. So you can imagine how much electricity we can save if we can reduce the resistance of the material. In 1911, Dutch physicist Heike Kameling Ons discovered that under certain conditions some materials do not show any resistance. Such materials with zero resistance are known as superconductors. Thus we can say that superconductor is a material that has zero electrical resistance. Let's now discuss the condition under which the material shows the property of superconductivity. When we keep decreasing the temperature of a material, we see that the free electrons stop colliding with the ions. As a result, the resistance of the material also decreases to zero. And it starts behaving like a superconductor. The temperature at which the electrical resistance of a material drops to zero is called critical temperature. Let us now analyze the behavior of a superconductor when placed in a magnetic field. When we place a superconductor in the magnetic field, we see that the magnetic field bends around the superconductor as it is not able to pass through it. Thus, the superconductor behaves like a perfect diamagnetic material. Now, if we keep increasing the intensity of the magnetic field, we see that a stage comes when the magnetic field penetrates through the superconductor, thus destroying its superconductivity. The magnitude of magnetic field at which the superconductor loses its superconductivity is known as the critical magnetic field for a superconductor. It is given by Twin's law, which is where HC is the critical magnetic field at temperature T. HO, the critical magnetic field at a temperature of 0 Kelvin. T, the temperature in Kelvin. And TC, the critical temperature in Kelvin. The graphical representation of Tyne's law is where the region inside the curve represents the superconducting phase and the region outside the curve represents the normal phase of the material. Let us now analyze the behavior of a superconductor when an electric current is passed through it. Let us pass an electric current over the superconductor. Now, if we increase the density of current, we see that above some specific current density, the superconductor loses its superconductivity and starts behaving like a normal material. The current density above which the superconductor loses its superconductivity is called the critical current density. It depends upon the property of the superconductor, geometry of the superconductor, temperature and applied magnetic field. Thus, high temperature, high magnetic field, and high current density are the three conditions that can break the superconductivity of a material. If we draw a graph with the parameters temperature, 
current density and magnetic field then the region within the boundary represents the superconductivity of a material and the region outside the boundary represents the normal phase of a material. Related terms are 